how much you want for it. Um, I know you've got to make some money on it. This is the only one left. So I think a fair price is $100,000. Um, that's a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're uber, uber rare. Let me get someone in here who will have a better idea what it's value. Right. OK, I'll be right back. Yeah. I'm just in shock. So here is, like, the holy grail. Wow, that's really an astounding piece. Photography was not an easy process. It's not like today where you can just run off photographs and any senator or president can sign them easily. Mid-19th century photographs are generally pretty uncommon. Uh, I'm not sure I know of any of his predecessor, James Buchanan. Uh, there were a couple engravings of John Quincy Adams that he signed. Uh, they're pretty rare. They're only a handful in existence. I mean, really, if you're collecting presidential signed photographs, this is the top of the pyramid. I've never actually seen one before. They are out there. They are rare, though, and they're often heavily forged, shall we say. So um, this Lincoln Parlor card could be special for two reasons. One, it was taken by uh, Matthew Brady, who was the most famous American photographer of the time. And two, it was later used to create the image of Lincoln on the penny. So I brought in some examples of authentic Lincoln signatures here. So one thing I look for for authenticity is the um, angle of the O. He usually makes it not as a perfect circle, but as an oval, and he usually slants it about 45 degrees upwards. So if you look here, there's a 45 degree angle. And then if we come over here, you can see it's not a perfect circle. It's sort of an oval, and you can sort of see the lower point and top point make that 45 degree angle. So um, Rick, I do believe it is genuinely signed by our 16th president himself. Okay. So the big question, what's it worth? 